quality sacrifice. Malachi 1.8 And ye offer the blind for sacrifice. The blind, is that a quality sacrifice? Is that a sacrificial sacrifice? <laughs> and ye offer the blind, is it not evil? And if you offer lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now to thy governor. Uh, will he be pleased with thee or accept thy person? Said, and accept thy person. That's another revelation you need to have. That when your gift is accepted by heaven, it's your person that is accepted. If your gift is rejected, it's you that is rejected. May you not be rejected. Let me be honest with you. God is a jealous God. God does not accept nonsense. God knows how he has blessed you. He knows what he expects from you. He knows. To tell you how, I mean, the kind of thing God will ask from people. God went to Abraham and said, give me your only son, the one you love. <laughs> give it to me. And this, a man who waited for several years to have this son, and God said, give it to me. God will never ask you for what you don't have. He will never ask you to go and borrow to give him. He will never ask you to go and beg to give him. But he will ask you, or he may ask you for what you do not want to give him. Yes. He does not reap where he has not sown. Hallelujah. Praise God. So number one is God expect you to give quality sacrifice to him when you are dealing with God. Give him quality sacrifice. He says, what, what you are offering to him, try it with your governor and see whether your governor will accept it. I mean, isn't that interesting? Praise God. So, if you want to stay out of captivity, embrace sacrifice. Sacrifice.